we gotta talk about uh uh Hassan Minaj. Yeah, oh, we yeah. do. Free Hassan, like we've been saying. <laughs> yeah, we have. This whole time we yeah. were saying that was a lying ass bitch in the New Yorker. Yeah, absolutely. How dude. dare she? Absolutely. How dare she tell the exact truth? <laughs> and then him go on camera and say, yeah, you were right. But but you were wrong. Yeah. Now, I will say this. I was right about the, the high school girl. Remember I said the high school girl was racist? Mm, you were right about that. Because I said he was too cute to be rejected. Yeah, yeah. So it yeah, had yeah, to be yeah, racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I was yeah. right about that one. But the other two ones, yeah, he did lie about it. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, if a white powder falls on my daughter, I don't think if it's a prank, I'm going to be like, we don't need to check this out. We don't need to go to the hospital. She got It's a prank. Yeah. I think you're going to be like, hey, there's white powder on my daughter. Let's go to the fucking hospital just to make sure she's not dying. Yeah. Mm. Let's call a doctor. I'm Indian. I probably know some doctors. Let's yeah. just see what's going on. Sure. I just think the same thing you know, exists for the you know from the last conversation we said where it's like if you're lying to make it funnier, it's God great. Bless. Do it. Do it. And if you are lying to be some sort of hero or to increase victimization, then it's corny. Yeah. And I don't think he said anything in the video that disputed that. Yeah. Outside of the girl situation, which I knew she was a fucking racist bitch <laughs> this whole time. I knew that. And that's married to a brown guy. That's what she's guilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what these white people do. They're guilty, bro. Mm -hmm. They marry what they hate. Oh. <laughs> They're like, I need to make their lives miserable. They hate us, so they make us. That's yeah. it, bro. <laughs> Think about it. if you if you're a woman, you hated brown men. Yeah. What's the number one way to drive one fucking crazy? <laughs> yeah. Marry that brown uh -huh. motherfucker. You're gonna be miserable. You really want them to get driven crazy? Let them marry a brown girl. That's true. Yeah, you know I mean, but they're selfish. Whoa. These white women okay. are selfish. Ooh, they okay. want to inflict the pain. That's true. They don't want to give all that joy to a brown woman that I to drive a brown man crazy. That I believe. They're like, no, nah, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, free Hassan from that white bitch. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. free, free Hassan, bro. But I gotta say, he's fucking fantastic. Did you guys watch the video? I watched, I watched some of it. He's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, even though the whole time he's just saying exactly what everybody criticized him for, he's going, yeah, I did lie to increase victimization, which is the criticism. He's not saying, oh, I didn't lie to make it funner. He's like, I lied to increase victimization. And the whole time I'm watching it and going, I know you're agreeing with the criticism, but you're saying it in a way that vindicates you. Yeah. And I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy's that's, good. That's Very how charming. I felt after. For yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamas need to hire him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like for profit or the IDF. But yeah, one of them need to get on this motherfucker for real. <laughs> Both sides. I mean, incredible. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's very charming. He's charming. Uh, yeah, yeah. White bitch, devil. <laughs> yeah, how dare she? How does white devil play him like that? How dare she? And how's she blaming on her family when mm. you knew it was her? Mm. That's fucked up. Well, maybe she loved him so much, she was like, I can't make this brown guy miserable. Oh. I got to find the next one. Mm. It was true love. It might have been true love. Holy shit. That's beautiful. But yeah, I think that's really the issue. But And you got to get these jokes, man. You're going to get these jokes. If you do some goofy shit like that, you're going to get these jokes. You know? But it was very well done. I'm not going to lie. It was handled very well. He's a smart guy, dude. It was handled very, very well. The kid's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The kid's good. I think he went a little easy on the white girl, though. She should have got it worse. <laughs> what, what, what would you have done? I would have doxed her. What? <laughs> what, what? Do you know what that means? Yup. What does it mean? It's when you send a white powder. No, to their that's, house. Not, that's not doxing. <laughs> that's, that's not doxing. That's, an that's doxing, I that's thought. Not doxing. When you send a white powder to somebody Wait. and you open it, uh, you know how you open envelopes over your kid's head yeah. always? <laughs> you know how when you're going through mail, you put your kid right underneath it and then you open it up? <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought it is. Especially when I'm getting death threats. That's why I want a daughter. Exactly. I just want her to open it for me. Yeah, when I get a piece of mail from a no return address, I just get my child and then I open it up upside down <laughs> over them just in case because you never know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't have it land on me. Yeah. And then you got this white bitch. Yeah. This white bitch, dude. You know what I mean? This white bitch. That's How the dare issue. she? That's the issue is this white bitch. Take down the sun, Minhaj. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's his name. Why are we even laughing at that? <laughs> that's how you pronounce For his emphasis name. emphasis on it in a way I didn't expect. Minhaj. Yeah. I, that sounds correct. I'm pronouncing it correct. Mm -hmm. Hassan, it? Hassan, Minhaj. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, Al. He's in a loop. He's in a feedback loop. I, I think I am. <laughs> yeah. I oh, think man. I am. So free Hassan. 
free Hassan, mm -hmm. lock up the white bitch. Mm -hmm. yes. And then third of all, we need to get this guy hired for some sort of, you know who needs him bad right now? Ukraine, bro. Because all the energies in the Middle East, nobody's uh, giving a fuck yeah, about yeah, Ukraine yeah, anymore. Yeah. They need a great propagandist yeah. that can sell you anything. And I don't know if there's anybody better than Hassan Minhaj right now. He could be president. Bruh. He could be president. Hmm. You really want to take down Trump? Take down Trump. Holy shit. Oh, that would be fire. Yo, you know what I mean? that would be kind of awesome, actually. Holy Was he born shit. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Born in very racist I need to, I Davis, need California. A lot of racism in Northern California. I don't know if you do it. No Indians. A lot of racism. I need to see that acceptance speech from him. When he gets up there and he's like, four score and seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Our forefathers. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second. Before I talk about this next sponsor, I want to tell a quick story. Uh, I got to meet a uh, dude named Saad Chowdhury. And uh, he'd been a fan for a while, big fan of the uh, flagrancy and uh, and the stand-up. And when I was in London, we met him after the show at Royal Albert Hall. And... Um, when we were talking, I didn't know that he was going to be one of the sponsors of the show, but he told me when he was listening to the pod earlier on, he was developing his career, he was making these video games. He's like, one day I want to be able to sponsor Flagrant. That would be so incredible. And his career started to rise and our show started to get more popularity. And we had this cool conversation in the bowels of Royal Albert Hall um, where he's like, I can't believe we're going to sponsor it. I'm like, oh, what is it? And basically he created the number one pool uh, game in the world. I mean, I have over 1 billion downloads, 10 million people playing it every single day. I mean, they, it's, it's really amazing. It's called eight ball pool. Anyway, I thought it was really cool that asshole army member, uh, had built a business and, um, and now we're actually getting to, you know, work together, which is uh, pretty fucking awesome. So, uh, I want you guys to all go check out his game. Um, they've got real multiplayer, weekly events, tournaments happening all the time. And in fact, what we're doing is we're working on setting up an exclusive flagrant collab. So we'll have more details dropping soon. But for now, I want you to download 8-Ball Pool on your phone. You can download for free, okay? You can even uh, scan this QR code and you start playing it to practice. You get to level five to be involved because the number one flagrant player is in for two tickets to one of my shows. Oh, Flights yeah. and accommodation paid for. They got it. So uh, shouts aside, man. Congratulations on all your success. Keep on building. We're going to keep on building. And uh, really cool to be working together. So make sure you don't miss this, okay? We're all in. Major announcement cooking up with 8-Ball Pool very soon. And um, yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm stoked for you, my bro. Very stoked for you, dude. Continue success. And it's fun, too. I suck at regular pool. I could play this. I'm so bad at regular pool, I could play this. I'm actually shocked you're bad at pool. So bad. You have good coordination. I know. You would think. And I would. you would think I would know the angles, but no, I just don't. I'll hit like two or three amazing shots and then miss eight in a row. Huh. Don't make any sense. Yeah, think, you're like so coordinated. I think coordinated. I'm in my head a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's like really surprising. We were even talking about you with, uh, we were playing Padel and, um why you're good at it. I mean, like you still have to get the tennis rust off, Yeah, but like you're just naturally coordinated. Yeah, more I, than it looks I, like. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say you're like freakishly athletic, Yeah, but your coordination, Yeah, like you you can pick up dance moves really well, like. You just be yeah, practice in a bar by yourself. Ping pong. You know, yeah, absolutely. No, no, I'm, I yeah. know you're fucking busting balls, but I mean that sincerely, like, so pool seems like. Seems like it would be, and it drives me crazy. I think it's too much time to think. I need something that's a little bit more reflexive. But I can't really think. Just get uh, it. Just, just you're getting it. in your head about the yeah, shot. Oh, yeah. do I have the angle right? Et yeah, am I hitting too hard, too soft? Am I going to leave it in the Whereas pocket? Whereas ping pong, you don't have time to react. Yeah, or quick. No. It's very it's quick. All reaction. Yeah. You don't have time to think. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I can I can get on board with that. Also use a promo code SCHULTZ. You'll get your initial deposit matched up to $100. I mean, That's if you put right. in 100 you get 100 for free. So you might as well just do it. Respect. Shout out prize picks, man.